Greetings and welcome to The Northman. Usually I do board games reviews, but this time I will focus more on the components, or rather the upgrade of the components in the games. Uh, I saw this site on Etsy called Board Game Boost, and here you can get some really cool acrylic pieces to upgrade your pieces in the game. So, first I got the pieces for Battlestar Galactica, one of my favorite games, as social deduction and great TV show and everything. And I got sent a cool flat package with a lot of instructions actually. So, first instruction is get some gloves. Now, before I start, full disclaimer, uh, the first one I got uh, from Battles Galactica, I bought myself. And the second piece after this, uh, I got by my request for a review. So, yeah, that's it. I just wanted more of this stuff because I like it so much. So there you have it, but why do I like it? So let's start with Battlestar Galactica, which I have already assembled. And then this other game, which has a lot of stuff as well. It weighs actually quite a bit, maybe three pounds. Yeah, four pounds maybe for this stuff here. So it's quite the durable stuff. And this will take a long time to assemble, so I won't be doing it today. And first I have to assemble it, and then I have to play the game that this is for. But I'll show you afterwards. But now it's for Battlestar Galactica. You might recognize the game Battlestar Galactica, but do you recognize these tokens here? I bet you not. These are great. So we have some few changes here. These acrylic stands here, they keep all the portraits inside very nicely. And it's very easy to distinguish them from the rest of the board. And you don't have to have the small plastic pieces that actually ruin the, the cardboard. And you can easily remove these pieces like so and uh, put whatever one you want back in it. And that's great. And they look so really nice and they are quite durable. I actually had to put my whole body weight on this just to assemble it. And the instructions for this product here is also a great video for, which he has made uh, as well. And you just follow it and you actually have to use your entire body weight to press on these plastic pieces here. And it feels a bit scary, but it actually works and it's, it's quite good. So what do you get here? So you actually get seven of these blue ones here for regular players and the red one here if you're playing with the Cylon leader uh, option. And of course it's nice to have that as well. But then you have these things around. So this for instance is the president. This is the, uh, uh, the mutineer. Here we have the CAG and here's a revealed Cylon. Here's another revealed Cylon. Here's a president, no the admiral I mean. And here someone I will never use again, the Silent Sympathizer. What a horrible thing. And here you have the, ca uh, the CAG that can go out and ship and pilot it around. So you have all this stuff in one package. And yeah, it's, as you can see, it's really great. And it looks nice, it feels nice, it's, it really lifts up the, the game a lot. So, what's next? Well, he has a lot of stuff actually on the website uh, or the Etsy site. Uh, the, so what I really wanted was for Star Wars Rebellion, this monster of a game. Now this one has many of the leaders, so probably they have stands like this, yes. But they also have stuff for the ships and an insert, and that's where this stuff comes in. So I'm gonna open it and just show you how to start the assemble, but I won't show the entire video, because he has a great video for that on on the site. So again, this is not a commercial. I just like this product so much. I wanted to share it with you. So I got this for free for him for this review, but yeah, I do enjoy it a lot. Oh, I almost forgot. You also get three of these uh, nuclear tokens, or nuke tokens that you can use in the game to replace the old ones. So you get a lot of stuff actually in the one package, but here you have many packages. And one of this is not for Rebellion at all, it's just a generic thing, thing, but the rest is for Rebellion specifically. So let's see how we do this. So, why do I have some gloves here? Well, it is recommended by the designer of this stuff himself, and it's because of residue. Uh, you see, each of these things are covered in um, the paper that's protecting the, the, uh, the plastic. Uh, now, there will be some residue from the laser that has cut it, so that's why you need gloves, just so you don't get dirt everywhere uh, on your fingers. But then, 
uh, you also don't get the finger marks on the plastic. So it is highly recommendable to, to get it this. And uh, I used it for the uh, Balanza Galactica set and it was very easy actually. Everything here is thought through and I will just show you why that is. So what he sent me is this one. This is a generic thing, it's called a Cadimax and it's uh, an insert for your game that you can have stuff up in it. Uh, so you can see from this screenshot here how it's going to look and I will show you, yeah. It's not that big of a package, but I'm guessing it will be bigger when you assemble it. Then we have some tokens here for Rebellion specifically. A lot of tokens. And some standees, the ship standees for the same game. I'm looking very forward to having these uh, set up. And also some uh, the, the rings that is in the Rebellion. But this time they actually say what the effect does on the ring, which is quite helpful. And here we have the standees, just like in Battles of Galactica, only this is for the Star Wars Rebellion set. So, let's start with the Cadimax. thinking how I'm going to use gloves and peel off this paper well it's actually quite brilliant you see there are small notches here with the letter B so if you take the letter B so in this case uh, ah, it's uh, reverse okay so I'll do this uh, so this one will then go out to me because it's a B for you so I'll just break it off with a finger like that and then I will just peel it off and you see uh, the paper will actually stick to that piece. So now I can just peel off the paper protecting the plastic, like so. And I, I haven't had a need once to take off my gloves for the entire Battlestar Galactica set. And I'm thinking the same will happen here, that everything will just easily come off using the gloves. So this is also in the videos that is from Board Game Boost and I really recommend you seeing those so you don't make any mistakes that you can't come back from. So you see, no fingerprints here because I'm wearing gloves and there are already some black on my fingers here, so advisable to wear gloves. Okay, I have uh, removed all the paper from all this plastic. It took me about 15 minutes and uh, yeah, let's just keep on going with the instructions to build it. So. These ones are not needed now for the assembly, but these parts are, so... Yeah, the assembly for this was just under one hour, and including in stripping the paper off and assembling it. Uh, so, you see you have many kinds of modules here you can easily take this out and they are, they are firm so they won't fall out by themselves and what I, what I usually don't like about other kind of uh, products like this is that they don't have any lid that stays on and this one actually stays on quite good uh, it won't just uh, fall off anytime soon actually I just bent this instead so okay so we need to open this again it's a little trick here and apply some pressure. You see, it actually sticks quite well, and that is good. So, what can I use this for? Well, anything actually. You have these slots here. I think you can even remove this. Uh, not sure, maybe. Yeah, like so. So you can have more slots. Oh, it's black, so you can't see, maybe see so well. Ah, here we go. You see here, you have two rooms, and we can put this maybe here, for instance. So, uh, let's say we're playing a game of uh, Rebellion, as you can put this here and here, uh, just an example, maybe like this, and we can use the rest here to roll the dice, like so. That's one example, so maybe uh, if you have filled this up with the components anyway and you have started playing the game, then you can use this as a dice tray, maybe. That's one way. So it, it is very easy to modify and adapt to what you want. 
And for the price that this is, uh, it's no, there's no problem to get more of these for uh, many of your games if that is what you want. Uh, so that's probably what I would do. Uh, I'm not going to uh, empty it and put it into another game. So it's probably going to stick to one game for its lifetime. But let's see what we can fit here from Rebellion. Probably not any of the figures, but we should get some of the other stuff in there. Okay, so what is suggested is when you have the game out and you have uh, used this, then you can reuse it as a dice tray. Probably I'm just going to keep it like this. Actually, this, um, this is quite nice. So let's see how this will work with the lid on. Snap, 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 snap. Okay, so. Okay, one snuck out from the side here. But the lid stayed on, and you see, it's, the components are still in one. So maybe it's just my mistake that it snapped out. Oh, it looks like it is. Oh, okay, it goes further down. So it was my bad, my bad. Let's see, we need to click it more down. There. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, this is sturdy, real sturdy. Can really appreciate this. And it comes off again with a bit of force. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing because you want this to stay on and not fall out by itself. So there you have it. This is the Caddy Max. As you see here, Caddy Max. And it looks really nice. It has a nice size, so it should fit in most game boxes. Uh, okay, so some of the commands snuck out. No, this was right. So. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. So that's it for today. Uh, the video will continue, of course, but uh, I will take a break now because I'm going to assemble this, uh, this up here uh, during the weekend and I'm going to play the game and try this out before I continue the video. So the Cadillac is a definite go for me. Uh, it's a very sturdy box. You can choose the colors and uh, it looks very nice. And on the table, it has a nice table presence as well. So. Definitely a nice thing to get and with the transparent lid you can actually see what's inside before you pick it up and It's a nice feature very nice and so with broken token and the meeple reality and stuff They have this open solution and if you put the game box on the sides ah, it's, I, I'm sorry to mention mentioning uh, The commands will just fall out and be everywhere when the time comes to play the game again So with this you have a solution where they won't fall out. So that is a very nice solution so the, the only problem is this is a generic one uh, it won't fit for all the games and of course all the components won't fit in here for rebellion this is all the components that are in it except for the cards which will come in bags in my case but this is a very nice solution so far so i am really excited to see how this is going to look and how long it's going to take to print it out and play with them and see if it actually makes the game any better because sometimes you have components that makes the game look nicer but more cumbersome to work with so well we're gonna see so see you after the break yeah so this took me a bit more than half an hour to take all this away you see that's quite a bit of waste after this this is the second package and here's some tokens so i'm gonna use these rolls first and get rid of these horrible stuff. Yeah, so you can see I don't wear any gloves now because I have torn hole into a couple of them already. Uh, just taking out these. And uh, yeah, there's been, there's been no problems. I'm just too sharp. And now you see I'm really black and stuff. So before I'm gonna assemble it and I'm handling these with my hand and getting fingerprints, I'm gonna uh, wear my gloves for this part. But or the disassembly or the unsleeving of this stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my fingers because I tore a hole into these, these, uh, well, it's okay gloves, you know. So if you get holes, maybe do as well, me or not. But this is boring, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's very boring and it's hurting my fingers. So maybe take a break, but I will assemble this before and then before I start with these, I will do this another day. I mean, just look at this. Oh, this stands from the FFG. Horrible. I mean, yeah, I'm watching some Netflix while I'm doing this, of course. <laughs> Why not? 
Okay, oops, I did manage to break it trying to assemble this piece. And before that, this is going to go on afterwards using the assembly tool. So right now, I hope there's an extra because this is broken. Hmm. I actually forgot about this part. Oh, the lighting is a bit poor now. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot one thing from the Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the kit comes with this tool here and you have to assemble it. Now it doesn't look like much. <laughs> at all uh, but the reason is for these things here now they have some they are mounted on a stand and the difference here is now there is one stand for each character you don't uh, take them in or out and that is quite cool you don't have to manage those anymore but this time uh, for each of these you have to put this thing here on this thing and to do that it requires quite the force the force <laughs> to do so and so you have to match it up and then you have to actually press as hard as you can onto this figure now that is very prone to breaking but this is why you have this tool here okay so the breaking one was my bad and fortunately there was a spare so right now we have Boba Fett the last one to assemble uh, so I'm gonna take the one frame one of the small ones and just insert it like so and then insert one of these transparent one here. And then I will add Boba Fett into the frame like so. And then add the other side of the frame. And as with the Rebels, I have one set of frames or glasses to spare and two of these to spare actually with a few of these to spare. <laughs> actually, it's, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Here, so there should be enough. If you break something, you can you can still finish it. So the one mistake was my bad. So now I ins this the one uh, mistake I did was uh, this second part here. I tried to insert it too far, and then it broke by applying pressure like this. So it's totally on me. And then lastly, now I will just add the third layer on here somehow. Just making it kind of stick, that's the trick, to match it into the notches, like so. And then I'll insert it into this tool. Oh, it loosened again, let's see here. So here we have it, ready. Just insert it into the slot here, like so. And then apply some body pressure. That's the sound you want to hear. The breaking sound. And there we have it. One Boba Fett. So now I have applied this to all the Rebels and now I just need to do it for all the Empire figures. Yeah, if I struggle I can break it apart, but that's not the point. So this, this is going to hold for its entire, yeah, for the game's entire lifespan. So yeah, forever it's my hope. It's very nice. So I'm just gonna do this for all the characters. And it's 14 of the rebels and probably more for, or the same for the Empire. All right, I have now assembled the pieces and played the game. So we have it actually back in the box and I get the lid on and it stays flat. So we get the rules. How you do this is totally up to you, of course, but I just want to see, will it fit in the box? Now I don't have any insert or anything. So we have here on the top, the two board pieces. Well, oh, oh, I lied. I actually do have an insert. The orig original thingy that's in here, I made it flatter, but still there's space in here for, well, stuff. So I can just remove it entirely and get more space. But right now, this fits as a support for the boards that it goes on top. But as you see, they fit in the bag like this, so you don't have to assemble it each time, though, you should glue it then if you're supposed to store it like this. But right now I'm kind of tempted to paint this. Yeah, I know, not optimal, but I kind of want to anyway. <laughs> I had to take these out from the Cadimax here because they are not plastic pieces because I have the that expansion as well, or uh, supplement as well. And these are bigger pieces. They are kind of double th thickness than the cardboard. So I had to take these out in a different box. 
but you don't have to have it like this of course the rings could easily be separated and yeah but the Calimax that has its purpose and I it's easy to have this accessible just take up the lid and it's yeah send it across the table or have it in the middle I really like this box so it's, it's staying for rebellion and these gems here they are real nice I, I can't tell you how much I like how these stand out on the board now and they are solid and they really make it shine and it's easy to spot which um, leader is belonging to your side so yeah this is a definite uh, thing to get as well as the basis for the figures now I'm not gonna lie uh, the basis make the figures taller and it looks gorgeous but uh, they are now bigger figures, so it's easier to hide behind other figures. Like if you have a, a, a trooper behind a starship, then it might not be seen by the player, especially if it's behind one of these, because they are now bigger than the uh, original, because the original is without the, board, the frame around it. So things can be a bit hidden uh, from view. But yeah, what do you expect <laughs> actually? Because you are lifting the pieces from the board, so something has to lift it, otherwise you have to have strings from the ceiling. So just be aware of that, but for me it's not, not an issue. Uh, you just have to yeah, look, use your eyes, uh, and I think the payoff really makes it worth it. Uh, it's, it's so gorgeous. Uh, I broke a couple of uh, the frames. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not this one, but for this one, as I showed you. I uh, didn't break any of these, but there, there are two sheets of spare of these tokens here. Now, some of these figures hit, uh, fit very nice in the frame, but <laughs> the, uh, the frames are perfect, they are identical, <laughs> but the figures are not. So some of these uh, the starter shores, they fit snugly, like, oh yeah, they fit nicely, uh, and otherwise just fell off because they weren't big enough or wide enough and even though you pressed it hard it w wouldn't stick because yeah or otherwise they were too big and wouldn't fit in the big little notch that they were designed for so the plastic isn't perfect but the acrylic stands are perfect uh, so i had to use some tacky to just stick the ship but if you want to uh, keep it at anyway you can just pe uh, glue it and it should fit just fine and you see the fit in the bag uh, and it's solid material. So yeah, I can definitely recommend getting these sets. So of course, you see these icons here, they do not represent or... You see, these icons here are not uh, from Star Wars at all. And that is a licensing issue. And I understand why he didn't do it, because he doesn't want to uh, offend Dis the Disney lawyers. And <laughs> I can totally get behind that. And yeah, they do make it uh, their purpose, and they work very nice, and they look gorgeous on the board as well. So this is also a great uh, upgrade for the game. Well, there you have it. Uh, this is the stand pack for the base game and the expansion, as well as this Cadimax box and some tokens that can re replace the original ones. And these stands as well. And uh, yeah, the stands for both the sides. And of course, the stands for the leaders. So all of this, you don't need it, but you want it. At least I do. This is amazing. Uh, so I got the same feeling from Battles of Galactica, where you had uh, only seven stands uh, that you can replace the figures in. But here you get one stand for each of the characters and leaders. And it looks so gorgeous and uh, it makes a great game greater so if you really like a game like rebellion and you want to have it a nice facelift this is the way to go so this is from board game boost uh, i would highly recommend the product here and also the videos are very nice to see and very instructive instructive and clear on how to do it and he has some great tips on the best way to go about assembling this now I did all these stands in the same day and yeah, my fingers are still sore and it's been a couple of days now since, well, a few days actually since I assembled them and I'm still a bit sore because you're, they have sharp edges, well not so sharp but when you are pressing hard against it, it becomes very sharp very quickly. So you should probably do it over a period of time and not all at the same night but still 
I wanted to have it done quickly so I could play it quickly as possible and I have no regrets. Uh, so this is a high recommendation from me at least on uh, this uh, board game board game boost and uh, yeah terrific. Okay thanks so much for watching and I hope you have uh, learned something today. If you haven't at least know that Star Wars Rebellion is one of the best two-player games out there now. Uh, yeah, it's that great. But you need to know, learn Star Wars. Anyway, I have a, my own review of this game uh, on the Dice Tower channel, so just check it out. Okay, thanks for now. I hope I see you again in the future. See ya. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>